Hello, Virgo. I prayed over the cards, shuffled them. I've asked that each of you receives at least one message. Well, the good news is you don't have any major arcana, so you do have control over the situation, which is, is good. For those of you that aren't familiar with Tarot, there are major arcana cards. Those are, they're big game changers. They're huge. They're typically destined, faded. We don't really have control over those things. It's good that we know about them because we can more gracefully ride that wave, but, but you can't shift them because there's destiny and fate and such involved. When it comes to the minor arcanas, the pip cards, which is what you guys have here, you do have more control. There is free will. You can shift those things. And um, it's the smaller things in life, the daily things, but there is more control at hand for you. So what we have is your situation, the recent past, what you are unaware of, and what the angels are recommending. Now, the first card that you have for your situation is Prosperity Begins. And traditional tarot, this would be pentacles. And this talks all about new beginnings, particularly new beginnings with, with money, with prosperity, wealth, new careers, new businesses. If they haven't started too soon, they'll soon be starting. And it's because of laying the foundation, planting those seeds, putting that work in, those investments. Sometimes it can be unexpected. It, you know, ones are all about new beginnings. Sometimes it can be an unexpected, but typically it's because you've you've planted the seeds, you've done the hard work, you've done all the planning, preparing to have that growth, have that new beginning. But when it's new, it, it's a time to really focus on a positive outcome, a beneficial outcome, the thing that you desire. You know, if you go and you plant a, a especially if you plant it from your own seeds in your garden, you plant a new plant, it's really vital that initial care that it gets because that will determine whether it's going to grow and blossom and bloom and be a big, beautiful plant, flower, or if it will quickly wither up, shrivel, and die. So it's imperative that, that early on care. So you have some, some new beginning, some new start. Because it's, it's, it's new, it does require optimism envisioning what you desire, envisioning the outcome you want, envisioning success. So for some of you, this could, it could be a new business, could be a new position at work. Because this card just, you know, tied to it straight up, meaning it's all about money, finances, pentacles. But I get for most of you, it's actually an, a new beginning with love. And for some, like it's a new love that's only been, you know, three to six months. Very, very new, very new, very fresh, very, very new beginning. Now, as far as the recent past, you have deception and, and envy. Number seven. And this, in traditional tarot, it would be swords. And swords are all about mental communication, our thoughts being stuck in our head. And this card, it, it talks about people not being who they are. They're not being forthright. They're not being honest. They're wearing a mask. See, he has that mask that he's, he's kind of lifting up a little bit. And, you know, not being aware of their intentions, their intent, what they're concealing, what they're hiding from you. And that by not knowing those things, they, that they can steal, they can take something from you that you have worked hard for or that you want. And oftentimes when this, this information comes in, it, it is unexpected, it's quick. So for some of you, you, you have this new beginning. If it's at work, for some of you, you've got someone at work that's, that's trying to derail it, like some competition. And for others, you have this, this relationship, this new relationship that you're, you're trying to grow, you're trying to develop, but they're, they're, not, they're not being honest and forthright with you. And it's recently come to light that there's something that they're not sharing. Maybe for most of you, they haven't, they haven't shared the details with you yet. They, they still, it's still hidden. You can sense something's going on. You can sense that they're hiding something because for many of you, they, they've pulled away. There's not been communication, but, but you're not sure what it is yet. Now, as far as what it is that you are unaware of, you have obstacles and challenges. This is talking about obstacles, challenges, difficulties coming in that you do have the power to overcome. It's not impossible for you to overcome those things. It, it does require actually standing back and evaluating, evaluating it from a distance, getting that clarity that you need in order to develop a plan and overcome it. Not becoming a victim, because you see how there's this, this circle around there. That, that distance isn't really that great. It can be leaped over, can be overcome. You have the phoenix there. This is five. It is talking about change. It is going to make a change to this new beginning because there are things you don't know that you're not aware of. This card can oftentimes also be talking about competition. 
I've been trying to make these readings general, <laughs> trying to get something other than love, but every reading has been totally love related up to this point. You guys are the first where there is a small number of you that this, this could be work related. So you've got this, this new potential at work for promotion, for change. However, you have someone that's trying to thwart that their competition of yours. For some of you, they're trying to get the job. For some of you, they're, you have your own business and you're, you're, you're bidding on something to, to get this new contract. It could be a government contract. You're, tr you're trying to get that government contract. You think you've laid the foundation to get that, but, but you have someone that's your competition and you're going to discover that when, when you make your bid, it's going to come to light that they're trying. And for some of you that they'll be successful. And for some of you, you've, you've discussed your plans with that person. And then afterwards you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? But we all go through these things to learn lessons. Now for others of you, you are going to discuss, you are going to discover that there is a third party. There's someone else and that's what they're not sharing you with you. You wanted to have this new growth, this new relationship, this new beginning, but they have someone else. And this is, but at least you're going to find out about that. You'll, you'll we'll finally discover because you, you've been sensing and knowing that something's off and you'll be getting the truth on it. Now, as far as what's recommended, you have angel of emergence and at the bottom, it says it is time for the real you to emerge. So she's surrounded by the beautiful flower and the butterflies. This is all about transformation because it's kind of purple and purple is the color of, you know, transmutation. So for a number of you, you're going to be doing some heart healing. See how our eyes are closed. It's kind of like, you know, not even wanting to deal with it, not having the confidence, not even having the energy to deal with it. Like closing, closing your eyes, closing off to it. So for some of you, you've had experiences in love in the past that have hurt you, that have shaken you to the core, that have made you doubt having those things, having the love, also made you doubt, you know, yourself. You, it's beat your confidence down, your self-worth down. And it's almost like you don't, you don't even want to open up your eyes to see this because you just, you don't want to have to deal with it again. And it does take strength and confidence to be able to fully open our eyes, embrace the transformation, embrace the changes, embrace the, the truth so that we can change those things. We can overcome those obstacles. We can become the phoenix. Like there's this phoenix right there etched in. But, but in order to become the phoenix, you know, it does involve death. It involves transformation. It involves opening up, seeing the truth, coming back to a state of healing ourselves, becoming ourselves, stepping into our power, our confidence. But it does take that courage to face that and go through those changes. Because when we go through changes, especially changes related to the heart, it's very difficult, particularly when we have, have hopes. Like this is a peach tree, like everything's peachy. Everything's peachy, everything's beautiful. We, if we have really high hopes of something happening, we really feel like we're connecting with someone, this is going to become something. We want to have someone to share our life with, build a foundation with, and then something comes through to rock us. It, it, it really is. Particularly when we've had those similar experiences in the past, it, it can really rock us to the core. Now I'm gonna get the book. Angel of Emergence. This card mirrors the start of a wondrous transformation that is about to occur in your life. For far too long, you have felt second best and remained in the background. It is now time for the real you, the beautiful, talented, and wondrous you to emerge. This is the emergence of your true nature, which until now you have denied most of those around you and often also denied yourself. Over the coming days and weeks, you will begin to feel a newfound sense of confidence and excitement for life. Embrace it. Give thanks to God and the angels, and above all, respect, love, honor, and honor the beautiful and talented person that you are. They're going to help you not be completely shaken to the core. They're going to help you come out stronger than ever after this now. Let's move these up a little bit. We'll pull some clarifiers real quick. Let's start off with uh, Prosperity Begins. Yeah, for most of you, it's love. You have the lady, and it's all about love. She's holding a rose. She's looking back, kind of like waiting for her lover. And then you have the book. It's all about secrets, things that are hidden. And then you have the heart, emotions, love connection. You see, she's like waiting. She's waiting on a lover. So for a number of you, it, it was a beginning in love, a new beginning in love. But there are things that you still don't know. The secrets haven't been revealed yet. But the secrets are about love. It's 
find out a little bit more of what the secrets are. Okay, Desperato, Militare, and Viaggio. Okay. So, you have desperate jealousy, excessive attachment, doubt, suspicion. Then you have the military, the soldier. But military members, they're, they're very tactical. So members devise plans, they work out detailed plans, what their next steps are, very strategic. And then you have Viaggio. And this is, it's, it's all about travel. Vacations, moving, transferring. So same for some. You've been in a relationship with someone and he is, he is attached to someone else. Excessive attachment to that other person. Now for some, still he's attached to that person from the past and, and something had come up that had made him feel jealous. But out of jealousy or just breaking away, he started the relationship with you. So started this new relationship with you because he had left the relationship with someone else. But he's still attached to that person. Still there's, there's, there's excessive attachment. So he's developing a plan a strategic plan to, for some, go on a vacation with her. And you guys can change the sex on this, by all means. Let the cha sex change it. They're same sex. There, you know, this could be opposite role. So whatever that fits your situation. If it sounds like your situation, just the gender's off, swap the gender. But for some, he's still excessively attached to her from the past. He's developing a plan to go on a trip with her, take a vacation with her, or he is developing a plan to move back, return back to her. Notice the horse in him, they're facing in the past. He's facing in the past. He's developing a plan for his future, a strategic plan in his future, but it requires going back to the past. And, and that is what you know that something's there, but he hasn't, he hasn't told you yet not shared that. And that's likely what these, these obstacles and challenges are. He's going to share it. Yeah, because there's two women. La Vicia, Falsita, and La Donna di Severzio. So there's, this is the old woman. Sometimes this card can be a friend, an old, like an old acquaintance, someone they've known since childhood. It could be a mother, it could be a grandmother. But they're saying that the, the other woman is, is older. She could be older than you, could be older than him, and or He's been with her a very long, long, long time. They have a long history. But lies, deception. He hasn't been sharing those details with you. And then we have the maid, the helper. She's got her basket full of flowers. So for some of you, they're saying a couple of things. They're saying for some of you, this is, this is what you're unaware of, what you don't know. So for some of you, you're, you're unaware about her. It's the deception lies. You have helped him or her get the clarity to return to the past and that that's what's going to be discovered but for others of you obstacle challenge it's going to be revealed that there's this other woman he's returning back to her but that is what's going to help you heal and proceed forward help yourself knowing that that you deserve better stepping back into your power transforming that hurt and also just totally transforming yourself you know butterflies are all about transformation when they're caterpillars, they go into that cocoon, and when they're just out of oxygen, and they think that they're going to die, surely, and it's all over. That's when they emerge as butterflies. So for some of you, you're going to have that feeling kind of like of a, of a caterpillar, like, oh my gosh, I thought this was going to be great. I feel like everything is just crumbling around me. But you are going to come out the beautiful butterfly. And this is, this is, it's a blessing in disguise. It is a gift that's going to help you transform. And you will. And you will. And they're going to help you with that. Just keep asking God, asking the angels to help you. They will help you get through that. So just rely on their help. So I do hope that this helped you. I do wish you all the best navigating through this stuff with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.